So if you guys have been keeping an eye on my community tab lately, you know that there is a lot of new releases on the horizon for men's fragrances from Paco Rabanne, Carolina Herrera, Givenchy, all of that. And so we've been talking about this a lot in my live lately, but I wanted to do a video where I discuss at least five fragrances that I hope are released in 2023. So ones that I think are due for a release, whether it's a Parfum, Elixir, from Chanel, Dior, all of that. And so without further ado, let's get it. All right, my great smelling dudes, welcome back to my channel. This is Randy, AKA Fragrance Dude, back with another fragrance video. And one, it's kind of like a video where I'm kind of hoping and praying that these fragrances are going to be coming out, released in 2023. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors, especially about some of these. So, and one of them actually came true um, before I actually made this video. So with that said, uh, before I get into the video, subscribe, like, also follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and let's just get straight into it. So again, I'm going to be giving you five fragrances that I hope are going to be released in 2022, kind of like a what if situation. Uh, the first one I wanted to start out with is kind of like a trio. I hope that one of these is released because I don't think that they're going to release more than one because I believe the last release that Chanel has released was in 2011 um, with Allure Homme Sporto Extreme, if I'm correct. I honestly, I think it might actually be later than that. But with that said, I'm talking about Chanel's here, and I hope that one of these three is released, if not more. Uh, the first one being the one that's probably going to be the most obvious, and I hope that they release a Blue de Chanel Elixir or a new line. So uh, whether it's, I said Blue de Chanel, Elixir, I know a lot of people are hoping for that. Uh, I, the original Eau de Toilette is the freshest. Then you have like the fresh and deep, which is like a mix, mixture between the Parfum and the Eau de Toilette. The Eau de Parfum, which is my favorite. Then we have the Parfum, which is really nice. And so I'm kind of hoping that they do release an Elixir or again, a new line, something like Red de Chanel or something stupid like that. But just something new from Chanel would be nice. With that said, again, these aren't going to be part of the rest. But if we could get maybe an Allure Om Sport Elixir, that would be great. I would like something like that. Or something like Allure Om Edition Blanche Parfum. Since it only lasts three and a half to four hours, even though it's fantastic. I would love one of these. So either a Blue de Chanel Elixir, something to make it darker uh, and deeper like the Parfum, but also project as loudly as something like the Eau de Parfum. I think that that would be great because Chanel is my favorite blue elixir line, blue elixir, my favorite blue line. Um, and then a Dishion Blanche again, I love that lemon cream pie smell. I love those aromatics, the sandalwood, the musks. But with that said, again, it only lasts four hours. So I do hope that they do something like a Parfum. One of my subscribers actually mentioned that. And then the one that I'm actually hoping comes out the most is this, a Chanel Allure Homme Sport, either O Extreme Elixir or Allure Homme Sport Elixir, just because, I mean, the performance with them isn't terrible, but just something new uh, would be absolutely fantastic. I would be happy with one of any of them, if not all three, whatever it might be. I mean, that would be kind of living in La La Land if we got all three, but... That is the uh, first one. Going into the second one, which is the one that I hope comes out the most this year. So every year for the last six years, Azaro has released a fragrance in their Wanted line. Wanted, Wanted Tonic, Wanted Free Ride, um, Most Wanted, Wanted by Night, Most Wanted Parfum. And now I hope since they did Most Wanted and Most Wanted Parfum that they do a Wanted by Night Parfum. Uh, wanted by Night, even though it is nice, it lasts six hours. It's one of my favorite fragrances. It is my wife's favorite one or two fragrances out there, along with Layton. Uh, wanted by Night, I would love to have an elixir of it. One that is deeper, darker, one that lasts longer, has more of that cinnamon in there, some more of those fruits, maybe a better blend. I don't know what it is, but I know that Azaro is going to be releasing a new Wanted this year. They always do. And unless I'm wrong on that, I'm hoping that it is Wanted by Night Elixir or something like Most Wanted by Night where they mix because I already layer I don't layer very much, but I layer the most wanted and wanted by night together. So maybe something like most wanted by night would be a really cool uh, name or again, wanted by night elixir. Even though my guess, if I had to take a pull, 
the one that they probably are going to release is probably most wanted elixir um, but that's just a guess from me i'm hoping it's wanted by night elixir but yeah that is the one that i'm hoping for the most this year uh, going into the next one, this is one that was again released after I filmed this video. I filmed this about a week before I'm releasing it. Um, but this one I said, along with Jeff from SoCal Sense, we were talking about it for a while that we wanted it to be released. It's Polo Red Parfum and we just got our wish. Polo Red Parfum's coming out. Very similar notes to the rest of the ones in the line with the cranberry and the coffee. So we have to see exactly what road they take with it because we have ones that are cranberry heavy. We have ones that are coffee heavy. We have ones that you can barely notice to either of those notes. And so I'm really debating on whether I'm going to love this. Um, I do like the Polo Red line. I think they're really good. The per performance on most of them outside of the extreme is actually pretty bad. But I hope that what they do is take like a mix between this one and the extreme with that coffee and make it into a longer lasting version. I think that would be fantastic. So Polo Red Parfum, it's not really a part of this list. I just wanted to mention it on here because I didn't have it on my last video. Going into the next one, I was talking about this in detail on both my live and Ross from TLTG's live. We both were talking about it. We won a flanker from Spice Bomb. Uh, whether it's a uh, Victor and Rolf because they are way far behind on their releases and right now Supposedly infrared is on the chopping block extreme is their lowest selling fragrance of all time at this point So I'm hoping that they come out with infrared parfum or infrared uh, eau de parfum or Just a version of like we were saying spice bomb but maybe like a blue version of spice bomb like spice bomb ice or something like that. We really hope that that is on the horizon from Victor and Rolf. Uh, they did really bad with marketing this fragrance, especially uh, not marketing it towards nighttime or the colder weather, stuff like that. So I really hope that they come out with something from Victor and Rolf, especially a Spice Bomb, whether it's a blue version of Spice Bomb as well as a, a Spice Bomb Infrared um, Elixir, I think would be really nice, or even Extreme Elixir, just to get something new. But for me, Infrared Elixir is my, Infrared is my favorite. So Infrared Parfum, Eau de Parfum, Elixir, whatever it might be, I would really love to have that from the Victor and Rolf line. So Victor and Rolf, if you're watching, even though I know you're not, please make a version of this that is just even longer lasting than it already is because it's a beast mode fragrance, but then it starts to die down and dissipate once it changes into that dry down. Going into the technically the third one here, uh, Mason Francis Kirk John joined Dior. Uh, there has to be a reason behind that, not just to sit there and do absolutely nothing. Um, I was talking with a few of my subscribers and what we think we would like to see on the horizon from Dior is either a new line because I think they're done with Sauvage at this point in time, at least for now, uh, because they already got to Elixir. They have all of the bases covered. Uh, so unless they're going to like an Atar or something, which they won't, um, the next one up on the line is either going to be a brand new line featuring Mason Francis Kirkjohn as the perfumer, or maybe Mason Francis Kirkjohn could be working on um, a current line that they have because they already have an intense and a parfum overseas of that DNA. And so maybe a Dior Homme Sport parfum or Dior Homme Sport Intense or a Dior Homme 2020, um, like kind of like just that DNA, but Dior Homme um, Intense or Parfum of that DNA without the iris. I think that would be interesting. So I'm really hoping it's a Dior Homme Sport Intense or Parfum. Um, that would be really nice from Dior or a new line. Again, I'm just shitballing right now. Hopefully we get one of those, but I don't foresee Mason Francis Kirk John coming on and working on an already existing line. In my opinion, I think we're going to get something new from them. But if we weren't, then Dior Homme Sport or the Dior Homme without Iris, I think that would be a cool line to really build upon. Um, going into the fourth one here. Um, it's really the last one because the, the one after this is kind of going to be a big hope from me. Um, but the next one, they've been wanting to do this for the longest time. I've been wanting it. They did make it longer lasting, but then kind of removed some of the notes. And so what I want to do is I want to get a parfum or an elixir in an actually long, longer lasting version of Dolce & Gabbana The One. 
So maybe the one parfum or the one elixir that sticks directly to the original DNA. So we have the one intense that takes out the tobacco and really pretty much takes the fragrance and makes it something completely different. Does make it last two or three hours longer. But with that said, the Eau de Parfum built off the original and only added about a half hour to an hour of longevity. And so there's no other fragrance that really in that line is like this. So I would like to modernize this DNA just a slight bit and then also make it longer lasting, which is what everybody wanted for a long time. So Dolce & Gabbana, the one is the one that I hope is the one that I hope gets a parfum or an elixir or just on a longer lasting version, just a longer lasting version. I don't care if it's called D or I, the, I don't care if it's called the one amazing. Uh, I just want to have or the one longer lasting. I don't really, really care. Just give me a longer lasting version of the one and we'll be good. So again, those are the main ones that I want to have out. The next one is kind of just a shot in the dark of bringing back a line that I have wanted to bring back for a long time because I wanted to try coffee or to coffee, uh, coffee and to uh, Tonka and all of those. But anyway, I want them to bring back the Mugler A men line. Uh, Mugler has already released three or four fragrances on eye fragrance for this year, but they're all for women uh, and elixir, all of that. So I really hope, even though it's a shot in the dark, that they bring back the Amen line so that I can get my nose on not, not only uh, coffee and pure tonka and pure leather and pure wood, I can also get my nose on um, that zest one, that orange one, I forget what it's called. Um, I think it's called Pure Zest or Ultra Zest. Yeah, Ultra Zest. I want to get my nose on Ultra Zest. I want to get my nose on all of them that I haven't because the only ones that I've tried are this one, the one, the Malt, the Ultimate, and the Original. So I do want to get my nose on the other ones. I have tried Pure Shot as well. Um, but I would like them to bring that line back. So if Mugler, again, if you're watching, which I know you're not, please, everybody's been asking, and I know this is more of a fragrance community ask, not an entire world ask, but if you're going to do something, bring back the line that actually made sense, which was the Mugler Pure line and will be absolutely fantastic. Let me know in the comments which ones that you guys want to be brought back from which lines, which fragrances, which ones that you guys really could see a future for from whatever, if, if it's a parfum or an elixir or if it's a line being brought back. Let me know which ones you're looking forward to if it was like a what if. Like if you had to pick a fragrance that could get a parfum or an elixir or a new line from a new brand or from whatever, which one would you want it to be? And then also I want to throw in there I really think it will be out this year. Coach Open Road Eau de Parfum. The original is great, doesn't last very long. I think they need to build upon that. I think they will. I think we'll get a Coach Open Road Eau de Parfum. Uh, so that one I didn't want to add into the video because again, I've already told you guys, if Coach Open Road Eau de Parfum comes out and it lasts more than five hours, which the original only lasts about three to four at max, then I'll be freaking amazing. I'd, I'd be so happy about it. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments. And again, I'll be back with another video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with another one. Peace out.